gentlemen, this is Mr. Workman. I'm going to talk through uh, level one genetics problem number 14 and number 15 here. All right, so let's read together through number 14. A spotted rabbit and solid colored rabbit were crossed. They produced all spotted offspring. When these F1 rabbits were crossed, the F2 consisted of 32 spotted and 10 solid colored rabbits. Which of these characteristics is determined by a dominant gene? All right, so <clears throat> a couple things here. You need to realize that this number, 32, and this number, 10, is pretty close to a 3 to 1 ratio, all right? 32 to 10 is almost like 3 to 1. Now, with genetics um, actual scenarios, we don't, almost, we don't always get expected outcomes. <clears throat> But the more outcomes you test, the closer the actual outcomes are going to be uh, to what we expect them to be. In this case, it's not exactly 3 to 1, but it's pretty close. And as a result of that, if you think about a 3 to 1 um, ratio, uh, you get a 3 to 1 dominant to recessive phenotype ratio when you do a header, header, heterozygous, heterozygous cross. Okay, so this type of situation is going to usually be a result of a heterozygous, heterozygous cross. But um, <clears throat> that's in the F1 rabbit. So these are the F, the F2 rabbits are the 32 to 10. So what that is likely um, resulting from is that the parents were likely homozygous, one parent homozygous dominant, the other parent heterozygous. So that would make the F1 generation all heterozygous. All right? And so if the F1 cross is heterozygous, heterozygous, that means in the F2, we would get a 1 to 2 to 1 genotypic ratio and then a 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio. Okay? So what that means is that spotted is our dominant gene. Okay? <clears throat> so solid would therefore be the recessive gene. So let's consider number 15 then. What proportion of the F2 spotted rabbits in the above problem would be heterozygous? So if you do that F1, F1 cross again, when you think about that cross, and we can do the Punnett square if we really want to sort this out, we get that 1 to 2 to 1 homozygous dominant to heterozygous to homozygous recessive proportion and dominant phenotype to recessive phenotype is a 3 to 1 proportion. So if we <clears throat> consider that 15A, the question is what proportion of the F2 spotted rabbits in the above problem would be heterozygous? Well, that's 2 out of the 4. So here's, here's 2 out of the 4. So that means 15A, 2 out of the 4, or 1 half, are heterozygous. Okay? Now, 15B, how many are going to be homozygous? Well, that means either homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive fifteen C the question is how many of the F one solid colored rabbits would be expected to be homozygous? So that's zero. solid colored rabbits are all heterozygous. All right, that's it for problems 14 and 15.